Why a VPS for betting bots? That's what this video will be about. Um, why you need one and then we'll show you the one that we use and how easy it is to sign up and install it. And then also we'll show you how to load an app onto your phone or iPad so that you can see your VPS when you're out on the road and see how your bets are traveling. So if you are using a software to bet on auto mode, then a VPS is brilliant. If you have no Windows based computer, then you can get away running it on a VPS. So if you have a Mac and don't have Windows and you want to run an automatic betting bot, most automatic betting bots only run on Windows based computers. If you have an unreliable or slow internet, then this will affect your betting bot and by having a VPS, you don't, you're not using your internet, so therefore the speed of your internet doesn't worry you. Also, if you have unstable power, power goes out, the computer goes off, your bot stops, once again, this is not a problem with a VPS. Um, and if your PC is not the best, so it overheats or whatever it does, then that's alleviated by having a VPS. If you travel a lot, like I do, then you don't have to worry about starting the bot every day because it keeps on running 24 seven on the VPS and you can access it as we'll show you later on your Android phone, iPhone, iPad. If you work during racing hours, you can uh, you have the uh, security of knowing that the VPS is doing all the work and once again, you can access that on your phone to see how your bets are going for the day. And as I said, if you want access on your smartphone to see the bot results and that, then that's all uh, that a VPS offers you also. What is a VPS? It's a computer that is based somewhere else and that has that you have remote access to. So you have control of it um, all the time. You have this computer running 24 seven and it's connected to the internet. So it's not using your internet data or anything, it's using the package that you've purchased. You can load as many bots as your VPS package will allow and the one that I'm recommending and showing you here, I run about seven or eight bots on that at any one time and it's the minimum package that this company sells. You need a reliable provider. Forget free as that will cost you in the long run. You're running something here, you've paid for a bot, you've got something working for you, no point in wasting and trying to have something free, finding it goes down or it's in a country that um, stops you from betting on Betfair. Which brings me to my next point. Yes, you need your VPS located in a country that Betfair is legal. So you can forget having one in the US because it will block your bot from reading Betfair. So that's very important. It makes sure that you can access Betfair from the VPS service that you subscribe to. And you need the VPS to be Windows based. Yes, it will cost you slightly more, but most VPSs are Linux based and most betting bots are Windows based. So you need to have your VPS in a Windows based mode. We use and we recommend this one, tagadab.com, they're based in London. So why tagadab? Well, as I just said, they're based in London. Um, they, they have a support phone service during business hours, so if you have a problem, I've never had to ring them. The package they offer a good value. They specialise in betting bots so they know what you want. It's, um, you're not having to teach your grandmother how to suck eggs. Installation is easy to do and we'll show you that now. As we do this video, Right now, the package I use and have done for the last three years is seventeen ninety nine, so um, pounds, and that includes VAT. Okay, and the link below for Tagadab, so that you can click on that after you watch the video if you want to use them. Um, but the reason, as I said, we recommend them is because we use them. We've never had any problem, and I know other people that have been using them for betting, and once again, no problem there either. Okay, now we're at the Tagadab website and uh, there's a lot to look at. They've got a lot of things on offer there. And what we need is we need to go to virtual. So if we click on the virtual, this will bring us down to where 
they have their virtual hosting from Tagadab. And this is what we need. And we need to run most betting bots, this first one here. One, one gig of RAM, 35 gig of storage. You can do a trial for one pound. I've never used the trial, obviously. Just uh, pay the full amount. And that tells you what we've got here. And I, as I said, I run sometimes up to six or seven bots at one time. And this package here has always been plenty sufficient for me. You'll see buy now from £9.99, um, which is £11.99 including uh, VAT. But you need to have a Windows-based uh, server. And you can see that, that that is an extra £5 a month. So that is what... The one I go for, so that's the one for $17.99 a month. Okay, it's got great speed, everything that we need to do. So basically, all we need to do is click on buy now if you uh, want to start using the service, and we come up with this is the one here, the VS1000, that's the package that we want. And it tells us here Windows. Um, I used the 2008 one mainly because this one here wasn't available, so um, I'm not sure. Just stick it 2008, and everything else here remains. We don't want any of this other stuff all the way down there, so we we don't worry about any of that. We just scroll over. We can see here it's a reoccurring payment, $14.99. Um, so that costs uh, $9.99 for the service, plus extra 5 to have it Windows-based, which is $14.99, and the 20% VAT makes it $17.99. Uh, the billing is, once, uh, is monthly, or you can do yearly. Uh, no promotion, or you can do the free trial if you want to. So we're paying once a month, we're paying no promotion. And then we go into the Pay Now. And here you start, if you don't have an account, which you won't if you're the first time using, so you go through and fill in the details here to create your account. Okay, create my account. Once you go through that, you'll go to, um, to do the payments and that. And then you'll go to check out. If I click check out, it'll say that I'm not, um, I haven't got my account registered. So, so when you go through, put in your payment details and that, they will give you the details that you need. And we'll just go to them now. Okay, once you've paid, what you need to do then is wait until you get an email from Tagadab saying uh, that your account has been set up. Once you've got that, uh, information then you can log into the control panel at um, at Tagadab and uh, using your contact email address for confirmation of the email plus the password that you chose when ordering your virtual server once you're logged in and click on your Windows VPS to access the overview page and you'll see this page here okay and that um, if you click on the type there, the, the little one that highlighted in blue, it will give you a series of headings there. So what you need to do is click on connect, okay, and then that will give you a little, some details down there. On the connect page, you need to click and download the RDF file. Also note that the location of the VPS administrator password uh, it will be required later on. So as you can see here, to connect to server, click on this download and download this file. Because you'll need that file number, or you don't need it, but it's a quicker way of setting up your Windows uh, remote access. Okay, so you download that, make sure you know where you've downloaded it to. Okay, so if you use the RD file above, then some of the login credentials are, are already being filled in with, with this file. Um, 
you'll need to enter the password and copy the password from below. So you'll have login administrator, and I think they're all administrator, and then that's the password. So copy and paste that password because um, you may need that once you get uh, once you go to your computer into the uh, remote control. Okay, so once you've downloaded downloaded the RDF file. Right click on it and it will show you, click on what folder it is in. It should be in the download folder anyway. And when you click on this it will open a remote desktop and you can begin your connection process through the VPS. Uh, first click don't ask me again for the connection down there because once you've uh, filled it in you don't want to keep on doing that and click on connect. Once you do that, you'll get this window security screen, which is the uh, remote control screen. This one's for Vista, and I'll, what I'll do after this, I'll just show you what it looks like in Windows 10. So then you'll be um, prompted to enter the administrator password, which is the one back here, the one that you copied and pasted up here. So you, you'll need to put that in there remember my credentials and click OK. After entering the password you'll see a remote control connection screen like this one here if you've got an old model of or old Windows version and uh, don't ask me again and click yes. Then that will take you into the remote uh, into the um, VPS. This is the VPS screen that you're looking at here. It will not necessarily have this information on it, but you can tell at the top there it's got the location of the VPS and remote desktop connection. Okay, so what we'll do now is I'll just show you what it would look like in Windows 10 and then I'll show you how we get the software loaded into the VPS. And this is what it looks like in uh, Windows 10, the remote desktop connection. So that the computer would be my uh, VPS connection, my username, and then my password doesn't show there as I've already entered it and saved it. Um, save the connection settings to a, VD, a VDP file or open it save connection. So if I wanted to save this information, I could save it here um, and it would for later on if I lost it I could just um, recover it from there and if I push connect there now what will happen is you can see it now this is connecting to my VPS and once the VPS comes up like it's coming up now this is showing these are some of the bots that I'm running Presently, but how do you get how do you get your bot now onto the VPS? Okay, well if I'll just uh, minimise these bots for the minute. Okay, if I wanted to put a new software on here, the simplest thing to do is just treat it like a normal computer. So what you would do is you would click on the um, on the browser that's there, I'm, I've got Google Chrome, but you may have Explorer or something. I prefer Google Chrome. And basically, what you do is you treat this exactly like a normal computer. So, okay, so we're in Google Chrome now, and all we need to do is wherever you get uh, whatever software that you're going to put in, you'd have the download location of the software. Say for example, example I put in Sword Deluxe and then the download. What I would uh, do then hit enter, and it just works like a normal browser. So in this case, it's not going to bring up the download page because I haven't put it in. But you just treat it like a normal, like you're installing the software on your on your normal computer. You'd have the download. You'd scroll down, find the uh, install button, click on the install and um, then then you would install it and open the bot as you would on your own computer. It's that simple. So once you open your VPS, bring up your browser, cut and paste the download link into that, download the software and install onto the bot and then just set it up normally. It's that simple.
Okay, you know now how to access the VPS on your computer, but how about if you had um, a Mac computer or a smartphone or an iPad? So, so how do I access via smartphone and iPad? Let's show you how you uh, download the little app that will allow you to watch your VPS. It doesn't matter where you are anywhere in the world as long as you've got a data connection. This is on an Android phone so if we go to the Play Store and the app I use is called Parallels uh, Client 2 okay and the one I use is the legacy one here um, I don't know why I use it but it does a job does the job for me so I just install it accept this this is the app now that will allow me to um, when I'm away will allow me to uh, access my VPS when I'm out and about so I'll open it okay and the first thing we see now here is add a connection okay so we've got these two here and if we go standard so basically now what I've got to do is I've got to put in the information that was given to me uh, by Tagadab so I'll just pause this and then come back once I've put in the information Okay, what we have now is we have the settings uh, that we've put in. These are the settings that I've got directly from Tagadab. Okay, and now if I go out of here now, so here we can see the parallels um, icon is on our phone. So anytime now I want to access uh, my VPS when I'm out and about, I just click on that, click on okay so now it's connecting up if you saved your password you wouldn't have to do that so now it's just connecting up to my VPS which is in London here I am sitting in Mandurah in Western Australia very shortly it will come up you can only access uh, your VPS through one remote so if I access it through this and I had it on my iPad for example then it would turn off and if I had it on my desktop it would it would turn off that location okay so the VPS runs continuously so here we are now and this is showing exactly what's on my VPS I'm running a couple uh, here in Australia at the moment and um, so there we are now you can um, edit your uh, settings and all that for the for the bots directly through here so it's just like you're sitting in front of the desktop itself a uh, word of caution, I've done it a couple of times myself, is because the screens are so small, be very careful when you're changing numbers. I, I once put a, um, a, a dot in the wrong place and consequently got some wrong bets. So just if you are going to change the settings, and we don't recommend that you do change the settings anyway, but if you are going to, don't, don't do it on a small screen like this if you can avoid it. If you're way overseas or you haven't got access to a bigger screen, then fine, you can do it. So that's how you access the VPS through an Android phone uh, and the Parallels clients uh, as I do this video is no charge to download. So there you are, you've got access on your uh, Android. And exactly the same is for your iPad um, and uh, your Mac. So you can run this Windows based um, software of ours through your Mac or through your iPad or through the Android by using a VPS. Now, 